All right, we're going to do an example of using the TI-84 plus CE calculator to solve this ice table. So if you're watching this video, you know what an ice table is, and you know you could make a small x approximation and come up with some numbers. But I want to just show you how you can solve this problem exactly on your TI-84 plus CE. Other calculators you can do this on also. So let's go. So the first thing we have to do is we have to put this thing into math mode. Behold. So now I'm going to scroll up on it or scroll down and I'm going to go look at something called numeric solver. There it is. I could also, after I do that, I go around so I could, the shortcut is to do that. I'm going to press enter. So here I type in the left hand side equation. So the way that I do that is I'm going to just type in x here using that math button and then just like you would ordinarily like type in stuff and I think you have to press that arrow divided by open parentheses don't forget the open parentheses minus point 0.1 this thing doesn't care about sig figs minus x close parentheses so that's my left hand side equation right there my right hand side equation after you type this in you can enter a number down here so if I want to retype that number, just press clear, 1.39. I like to use the E button here uh, rather than the times 10 to that because it's burned me many times in the past, minus 11. So basically there's equation one, there's equation two, and I'm gonna press okay. It's not done yet, but we're gonna press okay. All right, so basically here it says i'm going to it's telling us what equation it's going to solve right x squared over 0.1 minus a, okay this thing here that looks right just double check it so now what we have to do we're going to needs to calculate x but we have to initially guess at something so a good initial guess is about the square root of k and i wouldn't even punch that into an into a calculator i'm just going to say 10 to the minus 6 just as a for instance. So I'll just do it the old fashioned way with five zeros and a one. That should be 10 to the minus six there. And I'm gonna press solve. Just like that, it's done. Now I do wanna make sure that it gave me a positive root because technically speaking, there could and should be two roots to this. So that's the answer. So X is equal to, I'll well, use a Sharpie here. X is equal to 1.1 seven nine times ten to the minus six okay great so we have an answer let's just i want to emphasize that you do not need to belabor the guessing of this number here okay so i'm going to clear this number out and i'm going to go and i'm going to just press in 0.001 okay that's nowhere near the square root of 1.39 times 10 to the minus 11th but I'm just going to guess this, and I'm going to press solve. Takes a little longer. Ah, it did not find an answer here. Okay, so my guess was not good enough, so I'm just going to go back to go to here. And if I do one more zero in there, I think, let's see, it gets the answer. Now I double checked, so it, I have to be, you know, not too far off, but my little square, my little take the square root, round it to the nearest uh, negative power, take this, just divide by that number trick, seem to work out quite well. Okay, uh, so that's basically how you do it. The last trick that you need to do is you need to know how to get back into regular mode, which is always a trick. So you have to just press second and then mode here or quit, and it just goes back to your regular screen here. All right, bye.